the footage that you're about to see is true. It's not rehearsed. It's no acting. It is a story of a father and a daughter who love each other so much. They've been separated for too long. They've been lied on. They've been manipulated to keep them apart. But this is the story of a man and his daughter getting together. Hey guys, um, my name is Kelsey. I'm 16. I live in Baton Rouge with my dad. Um, the purpose of you watching this right now is to help you. And this documentary is for all ages, not just teenagers because I'm one myself. It's for anybody. Let me tell you the goals of my documentary first. I want to help somebody. Whether it's telling them that they can do anything they put their mind to and I'll be the motivation that they need to get them there. Or it's just telling them that they're not alone. You see, the name of my documentary is Innovation of Change. If you Google the word innovation, you'll find out that it means newness. Okay, new change. That's what we need. We need somebody to be that change in the world. That whoop there it is that's me that's me but you see it's gonna be a long journey and if y'all are willing to sit back relax and watch change occur then it'll change you now i'm not gonna tell you that this documentary is gonna be boring because it's gonna be far from boring it's gonna have you like this at all times because I'm not a boring person I make everything live so this documentary is going to be live it's going to be real it's going to be no edits it's going to be special effects it's going to be music but no edits at all no black and white no smoothing no nothing all me all the time it's going to be a journey and I'm willing to take that journey if y'all are. And uh, this document, Terry, will change somebody. This document, Terry, will change somebody. It's changing me doing it. And uh, we're going to see what it's like to transition, to be a change. Obstacles, school, boys, relationships, all that. Sex, all that. It's gonna be something to really, really watch. And you won't be disappointed. You'll really enjoy it. It'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry. It'll be like, did he really just do that? Girl, I know he didn't just do that. Girl, he just did that. And it's gonna be just like that. So, y'all guys, just stick around. Innovation of change is starting now. Okay, so this is Talaysia, and so um, I have a question for you for my documentary. Um, what do you think peer pressure is like in this generation? Peer pressure in this generation, I would say it's kind of, it's a big impact, especially in Baton Rouge, because a lot of people die from peer pressure, and it's like if you don't do this, you're not this. If you don't dress like us, then you lame. It's stuff like that, and I don't think too much going on and it's kind of we losing a lot of people over here fresh. Okay. Uh, 
Another question. Um, why do you think girls lose their virginity at such a young age? Reason being is because they want to fit in. They want to be like a in a crowd. They don't want to be different. They want to fit in like their friends. If your friend lost their virginity, you want to lose it too. It's like they want to be all uh, experienced and they want to act older. They want to grow up too fast. Yeah, just... Thank you for your time. I'm here with Amy and Keisha, and we're going to ask them a couple questions. So, do you think that it's important to have a father figure in your life? I do think it's very important that you have a father figure in your life. Fathers can teach their children things that a mother can't. I mean, a mother can do so much. She can teach a child to be right, but there's nothing like a man in a child's life to set them on the right path. Okay, so I'm here with Taja, and we're finna ask her, what is something that needs to be changed in this generation? The main thing that needs to be changed is teenage pregnancy. Okay, how do you think we could change that? The main thing I think that elderly people should instill in us, saying, you know, there's a way that, you know, wait until marriage, the best thing to do. And also, you know, there's all type of protection. If you do decide, you know, not to listen or disobey, you know, there's condoms, birth control, and et cetera, you know? Okay. So, obviously, teenage pre pregnancy is uh, one, something that we need to change in this generation. gonna be something serious. I don't want Cartesian to see this either. Where are you We got the documents at our office. And I see for her to be out here doing that, that ain't gonna mean nothing. Oh, right? that's not that's not for her. Tell her okay. what that's for. Oh, that's for my documentary. Okay, she she's going with us. Uh, where, where are the documents? Let me see the documents. I'm not complaining. I'm supporting my daughter. This is not my decision. This is strictly her decision. I understand that. But at 16, she can't make this decision. And I understand that. And I understand that. You told me on the phone that you had documents. I just want to sign I have the paperwork that they have showing that they were ran into custody of the girls. You have that in hand? You have a picture? I have a picture. They have it in hand. Oh, she, she got it. She got the paperwork. Yeah. They, they were granted custody and they said three girls. At the time, the birth certificate was changed into their name and them as the parents of the birth certificate. Which we will contest in court because I had yeah, no knowledge. That's, 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 that's your thing. right. That's what you need to do. But there's a right way and a wrong way of doing everything. I understand, sir, but if my daughter calls me, my daughter's going to be a beauty. If my daughter goes back into the house, my daughter's going to be a beauty. You need to go to court. You need to follow all this stuff. You can't just take her out of I didn't take her out. No, no. They, they told me that I had to all the right. first to spend the summer with her. Whenever they talked to her, either somebody said that 
Yeah, you said you weren't going back or what? She said she wants to come live in America. I understand. And they, they, they tried yeah. to come take her. We agreed to August 1st. But they can change it at any time. You have no custody paperwork saying that you could. If you had custody paperwork, if you had paperwork to the court saying that you had her from this date to this date, they Thank couldn't you, change sir. that just because they want to. You said the only reason why they changed it because she expressed her desire to stay here. That's the only reason why they changed it. And you said they said they don't believe one. that you you tried to kidnap her. And oh they, no. They know how it works. You think that we're here about kidnapping or anything like that? No. This is just about trying to explain to you what you need to do if you want custody of her. Do I have to go? You have to. You have to go, man. And like we explained, man, all you need to do is. Contact you an attorney, go to a family court judge, and present your case to them for temporary custody paper, visitation paper, or whatever you need to do. But right now, our hands are tied. Yeah. We can't we do have, nothing about it. We have documentation from the last police that was here that her, her mama threatened her and told her as far as she's concerned, she's dead. And all this, that's all. That's all that is That's probably why they have custody. No, they have custody because of the social security administration. Oh, oh, get a she gets a check. She gets a check. nothing about it. We didn't find it out until we tried to register it for school. And we called the head of social security administration. And that's why they signed so, that. Okay. There's always more to everything. Yeah. yeah. But we're told up front. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're trying to tell you the right way to go about doing this. So that. They did it. Even though it's not illegal. I promise. You can go tomorrow. You can go tomorrow and get a court order. Gonna go pack. You wanna leave some of the stuff you can't? Cause you coming back.
Come on, mama. Come on, mama. I want to look, Kelsey. I'm Kiriana, you ain't even looking at the screen. I'm going to call you back here. It's all right though, Kelsey. Mama. You're gonna be good, baby. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kelsey's documentary. I'm Kelsey's daddy. My name is Johnny Young Jr. They just came and took my daughter from me. They lied. They said I kidnapped them. They lied. They said I wasn't in her life at all. But I'm telling you, I'm going to get my daughter back. I'm going to get my daughter back. <laughs> 